Hello mga mad enthusiast! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang mat ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na naman si Teacher Maria ang inyong mat buddy para tulungan kayo sa mga problema nyo sa mat. And for today's video, ang pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol sa writing the first of four terms of the sequence whose end term is given by the rule. Okay, so ito yung letter C ng learning task number 2 ng inyong mga muzul. Pero bago ko simula ng video tutorial na ito, siguraduhin na muna ang napindot nyo na dyan, ang like button. Sige na mga anak, ilike na. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindu din mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button. At i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na? Na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell? Sigurado? Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. For letter C, write the first of four terms of the sequence whose end term is given by the rule. So, yung mga given dyan, yun yung mga rule na dapat natin sundin in solving. Okay, so first four terms tayo ha. So, ang end natin ay 1, 2, 3, 4. Kasi first four terms. So, let's have this one. A sub 1 is equal to 3. Ang n natin sa una ay 1. 3 times 1 minus 1. So, 3 times 1 is 3 minus 1. Okay, that's 2. So, yung first term mo ay 2. Okay? O, second term. A sub n. Oh, no. A sub 2 na to. Wait lang. A sub 2 is equal to 3. So, yung n mo, mapapalitan na siya ng 2. Kasi 2 na siya. So, 2 minus 1. So, 3 times 2 is 6 minus 1. 6 minus 1 is 5. So, you have A sub 2 or yung second term mo which is 5. Okay, third term. Yung N mo mapapalitan naman ng 3. So, A sub 3. So, 3 times 3. Okay, so yung N na yan papalitan mo ng 3 minus 1. So, 3 times 3 is 9 minus 1. 9 minus 1 is 8. So, A sub 3 is equal to 8. Okay, next, A sub 4. So, ibig sabihin, yung N natin, 4 na. Ito yun. So, yung N mo na 3, pinapalitan natin ito ha, itong N. O, ngayon, pang apat na tayo. So, 3 times 4 minus 1. So, 3 times 4 is 12 minus 1 is 11. So, A sub 4 is this one. Okay, so, yung sa sequence mo will be 2, 5, 8. 8 and 11. Okay? Next. O, dito naman. Ang N natin ulit, ulit dyan ay 1, 2, 3, 4. Kasi first of 4 terms. So, let's have the first term A sub 1. 12 minus 2. So, times 1. Kasi yung N mo, 1 na siya. So, 12 minus 2. 12 minus 2 is 10. So, A sub 1 is 10. Nagigets ba mga anak ko? O next, A sub 2. Ito na, second term. So, 12 minus 2 times 2 na. Kanina 1, ito yon And then 2, ito yon So, we have 12 minus 4. What is 12 minus 4? 8. So, your A sub 2 is 8. Okay, now A sub B. 1, 2, 3 ka na. So, 12 minus 2. Sorry. Minus. Teka, teka. Malayo masyado eh. A sub 3 is equal to 12 minus 2 times 3 na. Okay? So, we have 12 minus 2 times 3 is 6. 12 minus 6 is 6. So, yung A sub 3 mo ay 6. Now, how about yung 4? A sub 4 is equal to 12 minus 2 times a 4. Okay, 12 minus times 4 is 8. 12 minus 8 is 4. So, this is A sub 4. So, yung sequence mo ay 10, 8, 6, and 4. Ayan, ha? Okay, now let's go to number 3. A sub N equals 4, 
n. So, ang n natin ay first four terms. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so a sub 1 is equal to 4 times 1. And that is 4. So, yung a sub 1 mo ay 4. And then, a sub 2 is equal to 4 times 2. So, 4 times 2 is 8. So, a sub 2 mo ay 8. O, ganun lang kadali. Mga anak, ha? Nagsasubstitute lang. Okay, a sub 3. 4 times 3. So, you have a sub 3 which is equal to 12. Okay, and then for the fourth term, a sub 4 is equal to 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16. So, a sub 4 is 16. Alright, now let's have number... Oh, nauna pa yung 5 sa 4, ha? Teka. <laughs> oh, basta, basta this, this is number 4 and this is number 5. Okay, ano ulit yung N? Tama. 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, let's try a sub 1 is equal to 8 minus 3 times 1. So, 8 minus 3 times 1 is 3. So, 8 minus 3 is 5. So, this is 5, yung a sub 1 mo. For a sub 2, you have 8 minus 3 times 2. What is 3 times 2? That's 6. So, 8 minus 6 is 2. So, a sub 2 is equal to 2. And, a, and then a sub 3 is equal to 8 minus 3 times 3. So, you will have 8 minus 3 times 3 is 9. 8 minus 9 is negative 1. Tama. So, a sub 3 is equal to negative 1. How about the last one? a sub 4 is equal to 8 minus 3 times 4. Yung n lang lagi yung nagbabago, ha? So, 8 minus 12. So, what is 8 minus 12? That's negative 3. So, a sub 4 is negative 3. Kanina, ito ay 4, 8, 12, 16. Ito naman, we have 5, 2, negative 1, negative 3. Okay, and for the last one, we have this one, 3n plus 5, where yung n natin ay 1, 2, 3, and 4 pa rin. Okay, so a sub 1 is equal to 3, palitan ng n, times 1 plus 5. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 5, and that is 8. So, yung a sub 1 mo ay 8. Okay, and then a sub, a sub 2 is 3 times 2 plus 5. Okay, 3, plus, uh, 3 times 2 is 6 plus 5, you have 11. Okay, and then a sub 3 is equal to 3 times 3 plus uh, 5. So, 3 times 3 is 9 plus 5, you have how many? 14. And then, yung last, a sub 4 is equal to 3. Sorry. Wait, wait lang. 3 is equal to 3 times 4 plus 5. Okay, 3 times 4 is 12 plus 5. You have 17. So, you have 8, 11. This is a sub 3. This is a sub 4. Ayusin yung mga solution, ha? Chine-check yan ng teacher. So, you have 8, 11, 14, and 17 for the last one. Okay? So, mga anak ko, tapos na ang ating week 1. So, ayan na mga anak ko, kung nagustuhan mo ang video na ito at may natutunan kayo sa video guide na ito, huwag kalimutan yang i-comment sa ating comment section na Lagi kong sinasabi mga anak ko, malaking tulong ang mga comments niyo para ma-upit video na ito at makita din naman siya ng iba. Kaya huwag aalis ng hindi nagko-comment ha. Kahit simpleng thank you lang ay okay na okay na. Kaya mag-comment na at kung may mga tanong kayo na gusto nyo itanong sa akin uh, isend ito sa ating Facebook page Love Mat TV at baka naman i-follow nyo na ang ating FB page hintayin ko kayo ha at laging tandaan let's spread the love of math thank you and bye